Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can make from these flat illustrations that 3D character. And before we will start drawing, I want to invite you on my Instagram page where I'm talking about graphic design and my life in Montenegro. And as well, I want to invite you on my Telegram channel where I published my first article of my magazine about a graphic design. And if you want to know more interesting stuff about a graphic design, then welcome on my Telegram channel. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's move on. This is size of my rock space and now you see the colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and design, you can do it on my Patreon page, the link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Well guys, my workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel, let's take green color and Rectang rounded rectangle tool and we need to create rectangle with these options ok move here now let's take that color and rectangle tool and let's create the rectangle with, with that options. Ok. Now move the eye here, hold ALT and make the copy. Select both eyes, group them and select all three shapes and align the eyes and the body. Now let's take pink color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse with that size. Ok, and let's move it here. Now hold, let's, ok. Now hold ALT and make the copy, move here. You need as well select both shapes and align them and now group them. Select all shapes and align them. Now let's take green color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse. 73 pixels to 140. 48 pixels. Ok, now let's take rectangle tool, make the square like that. Now we need to select both shapes and go to Pathfinder Intersect. Now select the ear, copy and paste it, make the copy smaller and take pink color. Select both shapes, move them here and uh, now let's take black color and let's create the ellipse with that size. Ok, now let's change Let's take pen tool and change field to stroke and draw here the shape like that. Now uh, select the shape and change here the options.
okay and that's ready and now let's take a pink color and round the rectangle tool now create the shape like that okay now let's take star tool and create the star with three points okay it's a rectangle triangle sorry move here now select both shapes and go to Pathfinder Unite now let's take direct selection tool and round that corner and round that corner that's all let's make it a little smaller like that and uh, uh, now let's create the node take the black color and rectangle tool and let's create the node just with, with help of rectangle tool and easy rectangles like that now copy hold alt and copy that shape select both shapes and align them and now let's take ellipse tool and draw the ellipse like that rotate it and move here now hold alt make the copy and move here now let's move that shape a little to the left and make that shape shorter that's all guys the node is ready let's select all shapes and pathfinder unite let's move it here and the last one let's take pink color and rectangle tool and create the square rotate it take anchor point tool hold odd and move the that side here and that side here take dark section tool select that point hold and drag it around the corner the heart is ready make it a little smaller and move here and now let's make 3d go to windows 3d and materials okay now let's select that shape and let's start to go with me step by step i'm going to change a lot of numbers so you need to change numbers as i am for any new flat design you need to play with 3d options till you'd like the result so there is no one rule to create a great realistic 3d uh, icon character or something else so you always need to play with options to create something interesting and something great so guys here i'm going to show you just my options for this tutorial and let's go with me step by step well guys the first shape is ready and now let's move on let's take the eyes and now go to 3d and materials and go with me step by step and uh one of your questions is why i'm calling my tutorials 3d effect in seconds because it's true of course guys you need to draw flat illustrations but when you work with 3d and materials you ne uh, you need just uh, some seconds to create awesome 3d uh, character icon or something else and it's really a great effect and i like the last version of uh, illustrator because of its uh, 3d effect now let's create the cheeks let's ungroup them and take just only this cheek 
Okay, and again go to 3D and materials and go with me step by step to create absolutely awesome 3D chic. Well guys, the cheek is ready and now let's move the cheek here, hold out and make the copy. And move the eyes like this. I think it's already pretty cute. And now let's take that shape and again 3D and materials and step by step with me. Okay, it's ready. Now let's take that shape and again to 3D and materials and step by step with me. Well guys, now let's move that shape here. Now select that shape and that shape and bring it to front. Now select that shape and take direct selection tool, select that corner, hold and drag it to run the corner like that. And now select that point and move it a little to the right to make it shorter like this. That's great. Okay, now let's group the ear, move it here, bring it to front and again step by step with me. Well guys, the ear is ready, now let's select the ear, hold, move it here, now hold out and make the copy, like that, uh -huh. and if you like, you can play with the shadow a little, uh, with softness and height okay like that i think now it's pretty good but you can make the shadow a little shorter with help of height and like that now it's great yes now it's great and now let's uh, take that shape 
and this one make it shorter smaller so, sorry and uh, now we need to move these shapes here now copy and paste that shape okay make it violet right click transform reflect vertical okay make it bigger select that shape make it smaller and take the hearts bring it to front move here now select uh, these two shapes group them and select these two shapes and group them and now let's start here select uh, the group and go to to 3d and materials and go with me step by step Now guys, let's take ellipse tool, draw the ellipse like this, take a radial gradient, here we need a red color, here classical black with code six zeros, move the slider like that, go to opacity and screen and move that shape here. Now hold ALT and make the copy. It's like the blush on the cheeks and take green color and rectangle tool, create the square, hold shift and send the square to back. Now guys, let's lock the background in the layers like that and now select the character and go to object expand appearance. Now you can change the size of your character as you like, for example, make it bigger like that and play with the shapes here. OK. And our character is ready. That's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design. Bye bye guys. Bye.